Anybody who paying you is your low key boss. Yeah, man, we in this bitch with. Man. Oh, the hell going? Yeah. What's happening, y'all? I just thought it out. But yeah, man, we in this, in this motherfucker with TYE, man. Ty Harris. What's going on, G? The, the, the Oak Cliff uh, spitter, you know what I'm saying? Bring the hip hop back type shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying, but now nah, we are gonna get straight, straight, straight into it, bro. Hop in. Straight in. Don't ask me no, 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 no I'm bullshit. Open it. We getting straight into it. How you feel about being signed? Like, is it, is it like a different? Is it, is it more motivating, or is it like how you feel? You feel like you made it already? Nah, I still got a lot of work to do. It's still like, it's still like some doubters and shit, you know, because no one is really like, you know, Cube been on a movie tip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, people only know, especially this generation, they only know Q to be like the movie niggas. Yeah. And you know, nigga I got, don't know that a nigga rap hard. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know about that. And then like, if you talking about the NWA family tree, and you look at like Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre put on a whole bunch of artists, and Q he put on some artists too, but they wasn't as big as the ones Dr. Dre put on. Yeah. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying. I so are you the only person saying. signed to that? To the, what's the label? What's actually mm-hmm. is it Lynch Mob or Q Vision? It, it, it's Lynch Mob and Q Vision. Okay, you know what I'm saying Lynch Mob and Q Vision and Interscope. You know what I'm saying. So it's like it's the yeah, first you got the Interscope. You know Ooh, what I'm saying. So that's it's big. the first one is like Pablo Chapo. I don't know if niggas know about him, especially not. I mean, probably in Dallas. You know he, you know he, he did his thing uh, in Louisiana and shit. Baton Rouge. He go hard on the bitch. And then I think I'm the second nigga. I'm a second signing. And it's another nigga that Daryl Cube's second son is working on, like, like his second older son. Like, yeah. He working on, like, So how how was how did they reach out? Was it also, was it Cube? Nigga, I was, in, I was in Houston, bro, and I just got a call. I was in Houston, I got a call from my brother. My brother said, bro, Doe finna call you. And I know, I was like, Doe? What you mean, Doe? Who's Doe? He's like, Daryl Jackson. I was like, Cube, son? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he finna call you. And I was in Houston. I was like, all right, bet. And he didn't hit me until I was on the plane from Houston finna go back to L.A. Yeah. And he hit me, and he was like, I fuck with your shit, whoop de um, blase, blase, and we was talking. And at first I thought it was some bullshit. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, shit, my pops, up the whole family in the room right now. And I was like, yeah, all right, bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga FaceTime me. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, you know I, I was still kind of like in amazement. It was a little too good to be true. You know, I'm, I'm all about the grind and shit, and I'm all about contingency plans and shit. And goddamn me, I went to Houston. I went back to Houston for the Big Three League first game. Yeah. And I'm not no stunt ass nigga. I ain't got no money for no... Mm-hmm. Flow seats and you know all that shit, but they had them hoes for me, like ready with my name on them hoes, like yeah. ready, like yeah, come flow seats and we're gonna try. That was in Dallas, right? No, nah, that was in Houston. Okay, okay, Houston. Yeah, yeah, the Houston first person. one was in Houston, and I was out there and found shook cube hand, shook. Uh, that nigga was working, so y'all ain't really get to chop it up. Like you know that, what I'm saying? That. And like, but I chopped it up with Daryl. Daryl's the, the the one that's trying to do like the. You know what I'm saying? The label shit. He's really trying to put himself on or some shit. You know what I'm so saying? So he really just like his pops is, you know, you know like he trying to get out yeah, that shadow. Yeah, you, you know, know you know that type of shit. So, but he still got the bag in a exactly. Of pops, okay. And you know, Cube has always said, Cube, my favorite rapper, always yeah. look at all his interviews. Cube has always said, if he can do anything to put his kids on, he he gonna do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, you that's know, he gonna make them work for it, of course, but. That's, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Exactly, exactly. Cause the white, <laughs> he say the white folks do it. Why, why not me? What song that they said that they heard of yours that they fucked with? Like there was something like that. Uh, like okay, that's that's the one. They told me La La Land, um, Wood Town, Post Stroke, and of course Voices. Okay. Of course Voices. Of course, yeah, Voices. You know what I'm voices, voices. That one I really feel like you should still be pushing that whole hard. You like got something coming from Voices, man. I got a whole shitload of songs with them niggas. I'm gonna make them niggas. So when did you when did you officially sign? Like when was like okay? I know you, I know I, t- I I got a personal relationship with you, so I yeah, know yeah, yeah. before you were telling me a little something. Yeah, yeah. You sent me a random text. I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but you know what's up? You know what I'm saying? Type shit, type <laughs> shit, type shit. Uh, I signed like signed like a week ago. I got the contract a couple weeks ago. We was just reading through that whole, you know, my family and shit. Mom's, mom's excited, huh? You know she is. Yeah. You know right. she is. You know Ice Cube, her favorite rapper too. My whole yeah. family like Ice Cube. That's the well, crazy I don't, part. Like, that's, well, like, I mean. Why? I think it's because, well, 
let me just be honest. My mama had a crush on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's kind of weird because, yeah. shit, I know the family now. And she the had a crush on that. Eddie Murphy, too, goddamn. Hey, hey <laughs> we can fight. <laughs> we can fight off this yeah. shit, you know. But, um, nah, I mean, you just always love Q's vision. Like, I mean, no everybody, I mean, West Coast. West like, that's Coast just is, respect. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cube is a legend in the game. So West Coast was popping back then for, they, they was they had to, they had control of the hip hop yeah, back, you back know, then. Yeah, you know, and, what I'm and saying, you know, for Cube to be the type of dude to do what he did in the rap game and then transfer that shit over to movies and shit, even everything else that he's done, yeah. you know, especially with this new Big Three thing he got going on. You know, you got definitely a vision, a visionary. You, man, you can't do nothing but respect the dude. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? And my pops too. Like yeah. my brother, my pops. Everybody fuck with him. I'm gonna tell you, my pops made me study that man. Yeah. Like, cause I had my first album that I ever had was West Side Connection, Terrorist Threats. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't really just all the way delve into pop, I mean, not pop, Ice Cube like that. Like, I don't really know that's, a lot of That's, a lot, that's a lot what I'm saying, bro. Other than, like, when a move, I mean, I know he can rap. Yeah. I know for a fact he can rap, but when I was coming up, when I, when I got older to listen to music, he was already retired, pretty much. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Not so, even retired. He never retired. He just be on the movie, he be on the movie. I mean, he, he ain't dropped nothing, like, when I, you know type what I'm saying? Shit, so, type shit, type shit. It wasn't like official retired, but he not in the game. You got to really like, follow that man. Yeah. You got to really follow nigga, his. Nigga definitely respect his background, but. No, nah, most definitely. Uh, I just really want to ask, like, I know what you get dance daily. I know that check came in. What a, What am I going to get dance oh, daily? You, you know, we yet? still fresh off the shit. I'm still fresh off the shit. Uh, of I know all these are brought with Dez Daily up because I know that's your nigga for real, for real. Of know, course, of know, course, that's, that's of course. Like, that's of like course. a part of the, the situation. Of course, well, you, you know, know he go everywhere, everywhere. No. Every chance I get, every time I go to another city or something, Dez Daily is always with me. So no, uh, that plane ticket. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you know, Dan's daily. Y'all was over there fucking with them hoes, man. I see y'all over there hey, <laughs> twerking on something. Yeah, that's that, what I knew was a fish. That's what I knew was a fish. That was all lynch mob, bro. They like they I gave them what well, I ain't give them shit, but they gave themselves like a day mm -hmm. to get that shit right. And I was like, yeah, we're gonna shoot a video. And they was like, what you need? I'm like, shit. You got ten bad hoes. Bitches. <laughs> some bitches <laughs> and some money. We good. And so it was there. So do you feel like with this signing right here? You gonna start getting the recognition you deserve, you know what I'm saying, or is it? Man, cause I know you said you went damn near viral on Facebook. Boy, you know what uh, I'm saying. I've never okay. I got so much love just from all this congratulations shit from people I didn't know. Like right now in the book, like them niggas going back and forth on some shit, you know, negativity, controversy, sales and shit, and so they like sharing shit on some. Ah, y'all didn't know him before, and now everybody riding his dick type shit. It don't matter. I was talking. It, to it really don't. I, I appreciate all the support, regardless, and like that's what's going on right now in the book. I was telling my homeboy not to cut you off yesterday. He was actually talking about it. He was like, "Man, the city just these niggas be showing fake support." I said, "Support is support. Support is support. Regardless, if, man, a nigga, if a nigga don't like you, and he's sharing your music. Fam, I don't give a fuck. You fam, know what I mean? Exactly, bro. <laughs> what people need to realize, especially artists, bro, is that you know, I was having a conversation that I hopped about this shit today. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and Reeves has always said this. this is my partner Reeves from uh, the Cliff and shit, Keenan Reeves. He always said, like, people are not going to support the grind. They're going to support success. You feel me? And, you know, if you if you get people to support your grind, them are your, them are your real niggas. You know what I'm saying? And you have to, people have to, like, start supporting the grind once they see a little bit of success. So, you know what I'm saying? You see somebody grinding and shit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to fruition. You know what no, I'm saying? I mean, so what's, I mean... That, that's a part of the game. Once you get over that, then you get at your feelings. Exactly. I used to be in my big feelings, like, damn, why niggas not follow me? I exactly. done did this, I done did that, exactly. I done did that. But, dog, uh, man, congratulations on that whole situation, man. Appreciate like, what's that, next? Are like, y'all just gonna keep pushing the, the, the two? But you got three tapes out. Uh, three official tapes, I think. Empty the clip, All About Money, and 32. Okay, you got three official tapes out, so you yeah. you gonna just continue, continue to just push those? You can always go get them hoes, but now nah, we working on some new music. We working on some new, new, new shit. You who, know, is it, who is it somebody that, like, if they was like, yo, we gonna give you $100,000? Like budget type shit? What would one of the artists, a, a producer, or somebody that you really, really want to work with? I want to go for the gusto. I want Kendrick. I want to go for the gusto. <laughs> I don't, I'm, That's know. a Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, bro, I feel like Kendrick, I mean, I feel like Kendrick is, I don't know that nigga. Yeah. But I feel like he would be some one of the type of people to like. I think I think, he, I think you, you'll bring the best out of Kendrick, and he'll bring the best out of you. Man, he definitely gonna have. He gonna bring the best out of me. You know, that's probably <coughs> the rappers I look up to. But um, 
I mean, Bam. I, I, you, I got to. You know what I'm saying? I got to go for the gusto and get Kendrick because Kendrick. Kendrick, was, uh, Kendrick and Eminem. Kendrick or Eminem? No. Like, who, you, who, who you think is better? Who, you who I think is better? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to be loyal and go for Eminem just because I, 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 I fucked with Eminem longer than I fucked with Kendrick. That's just because. Eminem been out longer than Kendrick. I, I see a like, lot of, I see a lot of. When I first heard you, I see a lot of Eminem in you. Oh yeah. But then you could you could also hear a lot of Eminem and Kendrick. Right, exactly. That's my you know that's my saying? point exactly. That's my point exactly. If I had to choose between one of the two, it'd probably be Eminem because shit. <laughs> if it wasn't for Eminem, there probably wouldn't be no Kendrick because Kendrick yeah. had to study somebody to be as good as he is now. Man, I know a lot of people say you got a song called Eddie Murphy, out, and I know a lot of people say you look like him. We're not gonna bring up Eddie. You Murphy. look like Nipsey Hussle. Facts. That's my nigga though. It's crazy. It's, like, <laughs> it's crazy because I fuck with Nip. I just so happy to look like the nigga. Like yeah. you know, at the same time, like I know you've been, I know you've been seeing the beef between Cat Williams and, and, and uh, Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart. That shit been crazy. Who you fu- Who who you think funnier? I'm gonna go with Kevin. Kevin? I'm gonna go with Kevin. I mean, Cat the OG, but shit. I like I like Kevin. I, I like Kevin Grimes, bro. I, I, I respect the business side. Yeah, I respect, I respect the business the, side of Kevin. But a stand up? Cat, yeah, Cat, yeah. Of course, Cat. But as, as far I mean, looking at both of their grind, both of their grind is cold and a bitch. But if I'm just like outside looking in and I'm looking at everything Kevin doing and, you know, he riding his wave and I seen, you know, Cat fell off for a little bit. Not to say nobody, like anybody can be victim to falling off at any time. Like all this shit can be gone yeah. tomorrow. But Kevin just been on that, that. He been raining for a long time. I, but I, think, I think the fact that I think the and I'm, I'm gonna say Cat Williams, but I fuck with like I said I fuck with the, I fuck with both I of them. With the, I fuck with the, the business mind of, nigga. of the and how he trying to commercialize everything. And Kevin don't let none of that bullshit get in the way of his business. I think I think, I think Kevin I think Cat Williams is so talented he can fall off and bounce back and come back just like a Dave Chappelle. I don't exactly. I don't think yeah. Kevin Hart can do that. You don't? I don't think he could fall off for like four or five Bro, years. I think he can do a big special and people gonna care. I think his work ethic is so. That's what I'm saying. He's not gonna make to the it. fact that he will never. He's not gonna, he can never let himself fall he, he not, off. Yeah, exactly. He's not gonna let himself fall off. But I think if he was, I think you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He didn't let that. But I don't know that man by no means. He didn't let that. He didn't let that cheating shit break him down. Or nothing. Fuck up his image. He started nothing. working hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, that, and that's what I. That's what I fuck with him. And Cat, Cat did the same. I mean, kind of the same shit. You mm-hmm. know, he let some shit get in, in the way of his shit, and then he came back. You know what I'm saying? You know, he doing his thing. But Kevin. His work ethic. I fuck with a nigga work ethic. Yeah. You know, I fuck with a nigga grind. That's so, one of the reasons I fuck with Cube so hard. That nigga grind. Let me let me ask you another serious question uh, on somebody that grind, grind, grind super hard. Okay. Um, C Strugs, right? Right, right. I know uh, that's a Dallas Dallas legend. If y'all don't know, uh, C Strugs, he right. passed away a couple months ago. Right. Um, does that situation make you stay in the studio a little bit more just so you could have some, just in case something happened? Not saying, you know what I'm saying. I think I've always had that state of mind. Yeah. Like, cause I, I don't take shit for granted, and I and I'm a firm believer in, nigga, this shit could be all over, like tomorrow's not promised. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my biggest anxieties. Who, who you get? Who who go, like if it's to happen, knock on wood. Who got the music? Who we going to to get all the all the music? What you mean? If oh, if knock on wood, who, if I pass away on yeah, some who, shit. Who got the hard drive? Who got the hard drive? Holding the hard drive. Nobody's boxes. fucking business. That's a secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ain't nobody gonna take me out and we look are, for that hard drive. <laughs> we, we don't know where they'll stay at. You know what I'm nobody saying? Nobody fucking been in. He know who he is. She know who she is. Oh, damn. It's, it's a girl and a boy? Hey. Look, we got.